going on YouTube? It's Strangelove here, and today I have some Team Deathmatch gameplay on Arcadin. And I'm rocking out with my PP out, my PP90 that is. And this happens to be some Moab gameplay. Um, I've actually found that it's pretty hard to get Moabs on TDM just because by the time you get on a decent streak, all the kills are taken, there's not enough kills to get a Moab. But I was lucky enough to be playing with some of my friends. I'm playing with, let's see, Mr. Normal, Bose, and my friend Round Man. And we had a couple splitters on our team as well, but um, they weren't doing too good, so <laughs> didn't have to worry about them taking up all the kills. But once I got on a decent streak, I was like, hey guys, can you help me out a little bit? Hold back on some kills, help support me, and uh, they did. So I just want to say that I have some pretty awesome friends. Also, if you're playing this map, it's pretty easy to hold down the east side of the map. I think it's the east side. Um, it's the side with uh, the crate that's in the back corner that a lot of people in Team Defender like to go hide in. But um, I was trying to massage that whole back side of the map back and forth and trying not to flip the spawns. And it seemed to work out pretty well. I knew if I went over to the side with the bar uh, where the big wall is, I would just get sniped. And I know a lot of my friends are getting sniped. So if you're trying to play this map like on Free For All or something, I would recommend that little east side in the back. But anyway, I digress. The topic I wanted to talk about today is something that has shaped my life growing up over the many years I've been on this planet, and it's something in culture that I don't think I could really live without, and that, my friends, is cartoon cartoons! <laughs> That's right, I am not ashamed to say that I watch cartoons, especially because I feel like I've grown up in a time where cartoons were in their heyday. I go back and I watch a lot of cartoons now, and they're just not the same. Um, the stuff I grew up with were shows like, let's see, Hey Arnold, uh, Rugrats, Doug, All Real Monsters, Rocco's Modern Life. I used to spend hours watching Ren and Stimpy. What else do we have? Cat Dog, Dexter's Lab, even older stuff like Tom and Jerry or the old school Looney Tunes shows. I loved all of these shows, and some of them were a little bit better than others. And going back and watching some of these old episodes, I've actually noticed that there's a lot of weird sort of adult ideas and themes that are underlying a lot of the writing, especially in shows like Rocco and stuff that I never really understood or cared about as a child. I didn't catch what they were trying to hint at. And a lot of it refers to like societal problems and and really more adult ideas, but you know, maybe these things subconsciously have shaped me growing up. I'm not really sure. Because, you know, I'd like to think that the person that I am now is a product of experiences that I've had in the world, and while that is probably mostly true, maybe cartoons and their ideas had some influence on me, I'm not really sure. But either way, um, I've been going back to try and find some good cartoons and see what the kids today are watching, and to see if they're kind of up to par with the stuff that I was used to. And I've gone back and there's shows like, well, Spongebob and... I, I'm not really into Spongebob. To me, t Spongebob just is too stupid. And don't get me wrong, I used to watch really stupid stuff. Like, Ren and Stimpy was pretty much the high end of stupid. That and Beavis and Butthead, which they brought back, by the way. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Spongebob just not- I'm not really feeling it. However, I have found a couple cartoons that I really love. The first one I want to talk about is on Nickelodeon and it's called Avatar The Last Airbender. And no, I am not talking about the crap-ass movie made by M. Night Shyamalan. So uh, if that's all you've seen is the crap-ass movie and you're judging the series based off of that, please, please reconsider watching the cartoon because the cartoon is amazing and the movie is corny, cheesy, poorly executed crap. So anyway, Avatar The Last Airbender is one of my favorite cartoons of all time, even compared to some of the old stuff that I used to watch. This one has wonderful writing, great story direction, plus the show is centered around a lot of martial arts, and I'm not really huge on anime, and I would not call this an anime particularly because it's made in the United States. It's um, based on the art direction of anime to some degree, plus it has a lot of influence from different Asian cultures and whatnot, but I wouldn't consider this to be an anime. Um, to me, it's pretty distinct as like its own style. Um, though the influence is there, don't get me wrong. But anyway, the martial arts in this is spot on because they base the movements off of real martial artists and they track the body movements of, you know, people who actually know how to fight in different styles like Bagua, um, 
Tai Chi and Kung Fu and all that good stuff and it looks wonderful. It doesn't skip any frames, you don't see somebody punching and then it freezes and goes to the next frame or anything like that. It's all one fluid motion and I think it's awesome! So if you watch cartoons and you haven't watched this series, I would definitely recommend the show to anyone. And right now what's playing on Nickelodeon is The Legend of Korra and that actually takes place after the first three seasons in Avatar The Last Airbender and you have to really watch those beginning seasons to understand Legend of Korra and all of its nuances and stuff because they don't start you from the beginning and they don't explicitly explain how the world works so um, if you're just jumping into Legend of Korra there's probably a lot of stuff that you're gonna miss out on and there's a lot of flashbacks to characters that were in the first three seasons um, so to get the full experience of Legend of Korra which I am loving by the way um, you gotta go back and watch Avatar The Last Airbender so go ahead and put it in your Netflix instant queue. They got the first three seasons. The show's funny, great story, great fighting. It's the total package. I love it. Um, so anyway, the other cartoon that I've been watching a lot lately is Regular Show. Now this show is hilarious. It's on Cartoon Network and it's a lot like Adventure Time. I think they air, you know, around the same time. And it's the same kind of comedy of the shows that I grew up with. And the characters in the show are this blue jay named Mordecai and then this little raccoon named Rigby and it's just their adventures um, being 23 year old adults trying to you know live their life but they go through all this weird paranormal stuff <laughs> throughout the show and it's just so funny because they relate it to being a lazy mid-twenties adult um, just trying to get by in life and all of these crazy things happen and I feel like I can really relate to that you know minus all of the time warping traveling to the moon funny stuff that they do um, and they play video games throughout the show. They are huge gamers and a lot of their stuff, a lot of their jokes has to do with playing video games and that was just an added bonus because I really feel like this was a show that was made for people who are my age, who grew up in the generation I did. And um, if you haven't checked out that show, I would definitely recommend regular show <laughs> because it's anything but. And I think that's actually their little slogan. So anyway, when I'm not playing video games, I'm probably watching cartoons, so if you're not afraid to admit that you watch cartoons as well, uh, please go ahead and write me a comment and let me know what kind of shows you like to watch, and if you have any suggestions for me of any new cartoons that I should try to get into, write them in the comments let me know. I hope you have enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. If you haven't done so already, please rate and subscribe. And until next time, you guys, this is Strangelove signing out. Mwah! Take it easy. Just another wonderful dancing here